Hello, this is an Astroneer tutorial about how to make an AND gate and some of the common uses for an AND gate. This is an AND gate. It consists of two power coming into a platform with two portable oxygenators on it and an output going through an extender to a power sensor. Uh, what this allows you to do is to add two inputs together before you get an output. So this, the power sensor will only turn off once both portable oxygenators are turned on. Um, here we have an example of that. So I've added buttons for inputs and lights to show you what happens. So if I turn this on, there's no output. But if I turn this one on as well, you get an output. So now if I toggle this one back and forth, you can, you can see that it turns on and off. But if I turn this one on, off and turn this one on, the output doesn't happen. So this is the basic structure of an AND gate. And it gives you the ability to add logic uh, to any of your automation systems. So some of the... Um, some of the, the, the ways to automate stuff is to have a timer with a trigger. So uh, here we have an AND gate, which is set up with this timer. And if I turn it on, as the timer triggers, you get uh, uh, an output. So this will only give you an output of this timer when uh, there is uh, something attached to it. Um, another way, and when... Um, when the timer triggers and it's not on, it, it doesn't um, it doesn't give you an output. Um, uh, if you don't want your timers running constantly in the background, you can use this setup, which uh, also toggles toggles the timer on and off. So this is the exact same setup as this, except the input it will actually turn it on and off your timer. So here we have we have the the timer running, and if I turn this off it will not give you an output on that, that, that second uh, uh, try and the timer's off. So this is a nice way to uh, prevent your timers from running uh, at uh, any, any point in time uh, or just, just constantly when you're on a, a different planet or anything like that. Um, this is a uh, additive um, sensor for sensing uh, various things around your base. So what we have is we only have one power coming in here and uh, we have three portable oxygenators with three uh, uh, systems set up. This is uh, set up to give you an output of a, a, a light and a little beep um, when something happens. So this is inputs you could have into your AND gate um, going through your timers. So if you have, if you want to only run your timers when something is full, you can do that. So this is a full or empty. It will, it will only turn on when it's full. You could, you could turn something on when it's empty and you can even turn on things when the battery goes out. So this, this gives you an ability to uh, have all, uh, a, a bunch of various, uh, um, inputs trigger a single output and have the ability to say if you want um, you know you could put one power in here which it means if any of these three things happen uh, you'll get an output you could add two power into here so two of these things have to happen before you have an output or because this has you know 10 slots on it you could technically have 10 portable oxygenators on here and you'd have to have all and if you had 10 power going in you could have all all 10 of your triggers must be active before you'd actually get an output. So this is a way to uh, um, to add logic to your systems where you need a bunch of different things to happen before you get an actual output. Um, next up we have the double AND gate. So this is a, a demonstration setup of two AND gates together. What we have is we have lights for the portable oxygenators, lights for the inputs, and then a light for the output. What this does is, uh, or the way you set this up is you have these two off and these two on. And the, um, 
the power sensors uh, uh, set to only power lost. So in this case, they'll only get a, give you a trigger when they're both off. So if, as you can see, uh, I, I turn that one on, turn this one on, you get an output. And you turn this one off, turn this one off, you get an output. So with the, the single sensor, once I turned anything off, you'd get an output, but with the double sensor, you can set it so both have to be uh, uh, on and then both have to be off to trigger. Um, this is useful for um, running uh, um, anything where you have uh, two inputs. So you, you want two things to fill and then two things to empty, both those things to empty before you uh, uh, continue the process. So uh, first example of this is this is a splitter. So we have, um, you know, we have our AND gate over here and we have we want to split our um, quartz into just quartz and then smelt it down. So this in this case you saw that this is full now. It gave a trigger, but it did not uh, um, it did not switch the auto arms until we get it full. So now it's switching. It's emptying everything, and it'll wait until it's empty um, before it it starts filling again. So this is how you can do asymmetric sorting. Um, and, and ensuring you have enough resources to start everything. So you, you have to fill both uh, um, both platforms before it, it'll, it'll start emptying platforms. And this is just uh, a, a splitter. We want to we split uh, five quarts over this way and two quarts over this way. So um, this just makes sure, uh, this just lets us use a, uh, um, a fill, full or empty sensor by adding the uh, three resin over here, so we only have five quarts over here. Um, the main thing that I use this for is this device here. So uh, this is a um, uh, what I use to run the um, the soil, uh, the soil centrifuge automation process. So over here we have soil that comes up here that we want to uh, uh, turn into uh, various um, resources with the uh, uh, soil centrifuge. And we want to uh, trade scrap for uh, various materials. So what's happening here is we have our double AND gate. Um, it's set up for the soil and it's also set up for scrap. So this is pulling scrap. We're putting it on the um, trade platform to launch. Um, we only wanted 12 scrap over here, so we have four resin here so that we can use a, a fill empty sensor. And this is pulling off uh, uh, eight scrap over here into just a reservoir. This is what I use for uh, scrap automation because for the, the most complicated thing, you need four soil and uh, 12 uh, scrap. Uh, and then um, you can siphon off eight, eight scrap per cycle. So this is another example of using a double AND gate to get a, a, a both full and both empty sensor. Um, and then the final thing we have over here is this is an alarm. So if you want to um, uh, run anything, a bunch of stuff through your uh, um, base and have an alarm go off anytime you uh, have an issue, so I'm just gonna pull this off right here. So it, it triggers this, and, and basically it's a set of, uh, this is a, a, a summative AND gate for if you want uh, whatever process in your building or uh, in your automation process to, to uh, uh, trigger an alarm, you can, you, can, you can set up this to do that, and then this is just a bunch of, um, uh, this is set up to, to uh, uh, ensure that the timers are only running when we want them to. So this is a one second timer that's flashing the light and beeping. You know, we have a eight second timer that's for the, the horn and then a four second timer over there for the other horn. And so uh, it, it only triggers when um, when your, your conditions are met. So you can, you know, with this up, you can have up to 10 conditions and you can either have any of them trigger or two or three or four, whatever the power in uh, you, it, you put into the system is how many, um, how, many, how many inputs need to be on before it triggers. So this is just a, a interesting little uh, thing to notify you at your base if, if things go wrong with your automation.
Um, so that was all the uh, basically common uses for the uh, AND gate. Um, thank you for watching.